Ethel. What, Howard? Why in tar nations did you pull me off my tractor to come in here to take a picture? Well, Howard, I thought it would be nice when the photographer comes in, he's going to take a picture, he's going to put our house in the background, and we can give it to our friends family for the holidays. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. What kind of moron would want a picture with a man and a woman and a pitchfork with their house in the background? Now, you know, Howard, I thought for just once that you could just do something for me. Just for me. Well, you know what you could do for me? Stop leaving your damn feminine hygiene products in the refrigerator. It was the worst tasting sandwich I ever ate. You, you know, Howard, I didn't hear you complaining when you didn't have those chap lips for that entire month. Oh. Ready yet? Yes, Howard, we are ready. You know what, Ethel? What, Howard? You are one hideous beast of a woman. Th th Howard, that, that, that is the last straw, Howard. I'm leaving you for your brother, Henry. Fine, and take all seven of the kids with you. Joe Bob, Little Bill Bob, Little Billy Bo Bob, Little Joe Bob Jr., Chili Joe Bob, Dip Dong, and Susie. Hey! Ah! Oh. Oh. oh I'm, I, I'm sorry, man. I fell asleep playing this game and had like the worst nightmare ever, and you were in it, sort of. What, what, what game were you playing, Nate? Oh. Playing this. Farming Simulator 17! Hello everybody, it's me, Nate, aka Devil Dog, and this time I'm back with a viewer request. Actually, several people requested I do a game review on this, so here it is. This is Farming Simulator 17. It was developed by Giant Software and published by Focus Home Entertainment, and was originally released on October 25th of 2016 on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Microsoft Windows, and the Mac. And it is a farming simulator that has sold over 4 million copies so far, and the game consists of a main career mode where you play as a farmer on a quest. Well, more like a task. They basically go around and upgrade your equipment and to grow and harvest and sell your crops for money. And you can also able to buy and raise animals as well from sheep, cows, chickens, and pigs. And as you raise them by feeding and taking care of them properly, they'll produce items you can sell as well, like eggs from the chickens, milks from the cow, wool from the sheep, and so on. And if you take care of them correctly, they'll even end up reproducing and making you even more money. Now, as you progress through the game by playing plowing, seeding, uh, sowing seeds, fertilizing, harvesting, shipping, and selling your crops, you can also take part in dynamic generated missions for other farmers and their farms to make more money and raise your standing with them. And at the start of the game, you are given a choice between two areas to start your farm in, Goldcrest Valley and Sosnofia. I'm sure I said it wrong, Sosnofica or whatever it's called. Now, a first for this game series is you can finally play as a female character, but overall it has a very bare bones generic a really bad creative player. It pretty much consists of picking either a male or female farmer and then changing the color of what shirt they wear. That's really about it. But most of the time, you don't see your damn character anyhow since it's in first person. Now, the main draw of this game has to be the enormous amount of options that you have. Everything from the difficulty to growth speed of the crops. It even has full H. D Ultra 4K support, a colorblind mode, and supports even fan-made mods. And so far it has over 60 different brands and over 200 different vehicles. And that's not including the mods. I'll get into that stuff later. Now as for the sound effects, they're pretty decent. It's your standard affair of different tractor sounds and animal sounds. And uh, even has its own music stations, even though they're very generic with their own uh, generic country music, pop music, and rock song or uh, rock song. Songs. Uh, now, one thing is, is you can control any vehicle you come across, and they all have their very different handling and uh, control uh, setups, which is pretty cool. And a first-person view while you're inside, if you choose to see it, and you can look around, see the side mirrors. Uh, the only thing I notice is it doesn't appear like any of the gauges actually work, but that's not really too big of a deal, I guess. Now, it has a fully functioning day-night cycle, and um, if you go into the options screen, you can actually so many different options. You can decide to speed up or slow down the time and uh, because I tend to speed it up once it gets into the dark because it's really hard to see in the dark unless you spend
spend a lot of money and put up a bunch of spotlights. You do have lights on your tractors, but they don't really illuminate enough for you to really see what you're doing in the dark. Now, the other main mode that comes with this is an online component, which allows you to create or join online games with up to several other players so you can work together farming and doing other stuff. Now, the only problem I've noticed with this is most seem to have a, a requirement of certain DLC items before you can even um, enter, and a lot of them are locked by the host unless you have a password or, or invited into it. Uh, but there's so many different options, even in the online component, that you can set it to where it'll allow you to pick certain criteria to help you find a game no problem. Now, the over amount of stuff you can do in this game is quite enormous and can be very overwhelming at first. All the different screens of statistics, everything from the crop prices, and is very in-depth. Now, as you grow and expand your farm, you can even hire workers to operate your equipment for you. But their artificial intelligence can be kind of stupid. Sometimes they'll get stuck on stuff and they'll pop up on screen and you have to go and bail them out, so to say. And you can even harvest trees for money, uh, which I thought was really cool because all the equipment that you could pick in this game is so realistic in the controls. It can be kind of uh, really a pain in the ass to figure out how to use the stuff at first. But like I said, I mean, you know, you cut down the trees, you know, rip out the stumps, end up hauling away the, the trees to sell, and, you know, you can expand on it to even make more farmland to grow more crops. Now, hands down, the best feature of this is the free mod support. It is awesome as well. I mean, creators have made tons of new content, everything from new vehicles to new areas to farm, and the only thing that I'm sad about is I can't seem to find the DLC that allows you to build roads and bridges. I think that's a PC exclusive, but it doesn't seem to be on this PS4 version. And also, you can mine gold, but once again, I don't think that's in the PC. Uh, the PS4 version as well which is a shame uh, considering I would really like to do that and you know I may have thought at first glance why in the hell would anyone want to play this kind of game but after digging into this massively deep well done simulator I am hooked hands down farming simulator actually is a very relaxing kind of game and it's very strategic as well you really have to pay attention to what you're doing and um, if you are a big fan of simulation games like SimCity pick this up give it a shot all in all despite how odd you would think this game would be it's so oddly fun and compelling everything from the most simplistic things of picking up eggs from your chickens and selling them to the bakery to just like you know picking the seeds that you want to uh, you know pretty much cultivate your land you got to make sure you fertilize it you plant your seeds and you know then actually have the proper amount of equipment to actually go ahead and actually be able to harvest it you know once you harvest it you put it in your truck you take it to either your silo, you can uh, load it onto a train to get it to the location, or you can drive it to the location on the roads. It even has like traffic and pedestrians, though the pedestrians you can't run over, I've tried. And the traffic can be kind of annoying, you can turn that off as well. Downright, this game is phenomenal in amount of in-depth abilities, uh, abilities and just the options that you have. I was not expecting a game this deep, or this well built from the ground up. I mean, it has some slight graphical issues, but all in all, it's a pretty stable game other than some instances of slowdown when you have a lot of mods activated. But even so, uh, the game itself is actually very, very fun, and I can highly recommend it. I want to thank everyone who subscribes to my channel. I want to thank everyone who suggested I review this game. Please leave it in the comments below if you played this game or if you actually thought about playing it. Um, any other recommendations you would like to see me do, either video games or movies or anything like that. And and remember, people, I always end my videos by saying, have fun, play hard, and of course, the devil is in the details. Peace out.